Hi all, this video is going to be my May and June daily WOW routine. The first thing that I usually do is Utgard Pinnacle and Heroic in the Howling Fjord. I keep my monk outside to re reduce transit time. The mount that drops in here is the blue proto drake and it drops off the third boss, Scatty the Ruthless. Right now, I skip the first two bosses, and I'm not really sure if this affects my chance of the mount dropping. But if it doesn't drop within these two months, then I might actually start killing those bosses just in case. Next, I'll do my emissaries. At the time I recorded this, I was just farming Azrite Power World Quest to max out my neck, but now I'm doing it for the rep caches. And if you're if you've done the rep caches, then you would know that they reward three to five thousand gold each. And I'm farming the Azrite armor rewards. I need these to scrap into the Titan Residuum for the 415 Azerite armor. My Azerite armor is still at the 400 level, so I definitely need to upgrade it. When I'm done with those, I'll dreamwalk to Mount Hyjal to try to get my last Molten Front achievements. I started the Molten Front dailies in my March and April daily WoW routine, and so I decided to do the achievements as well since I was there. So the last one that I need is the Sarian to show up for Have We Met. And then after I finish checking that, I'll port to Dalaran and re my Nomi work orders for the Legion cooking. I think I'm almost done with these. The mats are pretty cheap off the auction house, so I don't even bother farming them. Next, I'll port to Mop and do the Order of the Cloud Serpent dailies. These include things like fishing, archaeology, bandaging. The bandages have to be bought unless you have a tailor. So before I port to Mop, I'm in Orgrimmar and I will hit up the auction house for basically all the mats that I need for the cooking work orders and the bandages that I need for these dailies, and then also any flasks or pots or food that I need for raiding or running keys. I've also been pretty frantic about picking up every quest I've missed. A lot of these I just kind of skipped over because they weren't very important before, but now as I see available quests, I'll pick them up and just try to get as many done as I can. I'm not sure if there's a real benefit to this, but I just I just want to get them. If I see it there, I just want to get it done. I'm still working on my Mythic Keys. I'm pretty comfortable running up to a 9, and will usually switch roles depending on who's going or what the affixes are. I'm still a little slow at tanking, but I'm still learning how, um, how well the healer can keep up. I've also been trying to do Heroic Battle of the Zara Lore, but it's now more of trying to form a guild raid team. The whole point of raiding in my mind is a team mentality, otherwise I can just get gear easily off of Mythic Keys. The one we're doing in the video is Motherload, obviously, and it's a level 11. And we pretty much already knew that we weren't going to make it in time because they were a little bit of a mess up during one of the bosses. So that's why uh, we're so low on time near the final boss and then just ended up cloaking and sacrificing towards the end. And the last thing I'm doing is healing threes. This is something that I was kind of doing casually before as well, but it's gotten a little bit more uh, consistent this month. It's a pretty chill group, at least I'm chill about it. 
every time we've run, my Azurite is in Guardian or Balance, so shame on me. But I'm definitely learning a lot about all the CCs a juror can have, especially against Demon Hunters. Anyways, thanks for watching, have fun, and good luck!